Welcome to Wines Across Borders. My name is Dr. Clinton Lee and I am from the Asia Pacific Wine and Spirit Institute. I'm the Executive Director there and it's my pleasure to be with you at this particular episode. We're often asked, what makes a good wine? So let me ask you, what makes a good wine for you? Is it color? Is it aroma? Is it taste? Or is it price? Or are you the type that says, as long as it's from France, it's got to be good? Or Italy? Or Canada? What makes a good wine? I've tried thousands of wines. And if there's any one thing I would like to share with you about what makes a good wine, it would begin with the differentiation. If you were to observe and go to an art gallery, you see a picture. Many will like it. Many will have no feeling. There will be others who hate it. Then you will get those that say, wow, look at the paint the stroke, the style. Same thing with wine. If you are a particular wine enthusiast, educator, someone who really appreciates wine, you will go deeper and deeper into how the wine is made, where the country makes it, which particular region, what type of style did they do, did they use a particular oak barrel, what type of oak barrel, then of course there's the majority of people who just appreciate a good glass of wine. So coming back to the question, what makes a good wine? If you are in this particular camp, it's your profession, you're an educator, you're an enthusiast, you are more particular about what you're looking at. Balance, finish, acidity, flavor. But if you are on this side, it's what makes you happy. You get joy from drinking that wine. You're not really concerned so much as to how it's made, where it is from. It's a wine that you find to be pleasing to you. And that's the most important. So two camps. The one looks at it more from an educational perspective, scientific method. The other looks at it from their own personal sense of enjoyment. So to summarize what makes a good wine, I think you are the best judge of that. So here's to you. Cheers.